train the trainer recording for the small basic ad libs recipe. To start, you want to import QWF808, uh, and we've done that here. Now, like our other recipes, we're going to teach this one not in one, two, three line order, but in the order where the kids can see it. And to do that, we're going to start on line seven. So, can you read that out for me? Set the value of the current story to the word today. Now, one of the things that we're going to uh, emphasize in here is using copy and paste. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of copy and paste, and that's totally fine. If the kids mess up, remind them about using undo. Another concept that we're uh, repeating here is anything with the word current is a variable. So we're going to say equals. Another thing that this recipe teaches is string concatenation and the fact that strings use double quotes and they're um, case sensitive and space sensitive. Now, um, another aspect of this recipe is that there are um, uh, lines in pairs that the kids are going to have to run. We try to design our recipes so one line of English is one line of code, but we're not always able to do that. So we're going to now jump down to the last line, line 15, and can you read that out for me? Show the current story in a message box as a message. All right. So again, they could use the editor to just bring up current story, or we could be lazy coders and do copy and paste. Again, as soon as they see the message box, then they um, should be familiar with the show message. And then we're going to bring in the current story. Okay, so we're going to bring that in, copy that in, and we're going to paste that there. And then we're going to take a look at it. Okay, and uh, oh, we're not doing the right thing here because we don't want to set this equal to the value of the current story. This is a common mistake the kids will make, so it's sometimes it's good to see these in the videos. When I'm talking and typing, it's a little bit tricky to do things. We don't want to set the value of the current story. We want to show the current story, so no problem to see this. Um, if the kids do it, you know how to fix it. Basically take it off, and there it is. So now we've correctly translated line 7 and line 15, so we need to do what to them? Delete them using Control l Yep. And um, one of the things you want to encourage the kids is only delete once you see something works. Now we're going to go up to line one. So we go up to line one, and can you read that out for me? Ask the user to enter an adverb. Save it as current adverb. Okay, now this English is a little bit trickier to translate. The kids should know this, to save it as, and again, they can just copy that off. Now, ask the user to enter an adverb. Um, this, again, we, we uh, make uh, available through the message box, through the ask for input. Um, this is something they've seen in previous recipes. If they've done it out of order, they might have a tricky time to get this. Um, you might need to prompt them the first time. So enter an adverb, and here we go. And even though you're not really going to be able to see the output, you will be able to see the input if we run it now. So we're going to run it now just this one time. We're going to enter an adverb. You tell me an adverb. What should I put in there? Crustily. Crustily. Okay, so I put it in. I don't really see where it goes yet, but I'm going to in just a minute. So I'm going to leave that English there just in case. Now I'm going to go down to line 6, which uses this current adverb so I can see it. So can you read that out to me? Add the words, I woke, and current adverb and period to the current story. Okay, so for this, we're going to take the current story, and one of the concepts we're teaching in this first recipe is string concatenation. So we want to say current story equals the current story plus the new stuff. Now we'll probably add a slide to our slide deck because this is a new concept. Um, we might have shown it a couple times in previous recipes, but we're really hitting it hard on this one. Now again, when you're bringing the other information in, notice we have a combination of words and variables and punctuation. This might be a little bit tricky for the kids, so you might need to write this on the whiteboard or have some kind of slide. And then, of course, we're going to run it, and I'm going to ask you to give me an adverb again, a simple one, so I can type it in. Sadly. Sadly. Okay. If I can type sadly. Okay, and let's see how this looks. Does this go into our story? Today I woke sadly. And I do, because I don't like getting up early in the morning. So now we can get rid of lines one and line now it's seven, because we added the value. And now we need to go up to the what's line two. Can you read that out for me? Ask the user to enter a verb ending in ed. Save it as current ed verb. Okay, again, notice how much I'm copying and pasting. Um, it's going to make the recipe go a lot quicker if you do it that way, and the kids are going to probably pick up on the pattern, message box, ask for input. We've done this on purpose, and we want to say, enter a verb ending in ed, okay? 
All right, and um, this time we're going to go ahead and run it again, and we'll get two message boxes. So the adverb, we're going to say sadly again. And then let's go ahead and tell me a verb ends in ed. Jumped. Jumped. That sounds like it. They do have to put the ed on, of course. Okay, so now we want to use that same pattern to add it to our story. So read line eight for me, will you? Add the words then I plus current ed verb plus space to the current story. Okay, and see how um, if you have the kids read it out, then they realize what it is they're adding. So you add to the current story. So current story equals current story plus, and then you can just copy and paste the whole string on in there. So then I, let's copy and paste that. Looks like there might be an extra quote in there. So let's take that quote off. So, okay, so let's make sure that that works. Now we have a single quote, so that's okay. Um, looks like we put that in on mistake, so we'll kind of fix that in the recipe. But if you see that, that's a good way to show the kids why is that still green, because it has an extra quote in there. So now let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. So we're going to say, enter an adverb. We'll say sadly again. Maybe we'll change it the last time. And then for the verb, we said jumped, right? Okay, and let's see what our story is now. You want to re re read our story? Today, I woke sadly. Then I jumped. Oh, I never do that. I don't know about you. So now we have some more lines to get rid of. Let's get rid of this line, and let's get rid of this line. And we're almost done translating our recipe. The kids should be moving along pretty fast now. Read the new line three out for me, please. Ask the user to enter a body part. Save it as current body part. Okay, this sounds like it's going to get crazy. So current body part, and we're going to say equals message box, ask for input, and then we're going to say enter a body part. Okay, and um, we know that works, so we're not going to run it in this particular case just for time. And then on line eight, can you read that out? Add the words my and current body part and period to the current story. All right, so we've got the current story, and we're going to take the current story equals the current story, string concatenation, plus, and we're going to copy this part, my current body part, copy this part over, and now we're going to make our Mad Lib. So, and remember that these strings are case and space sensitive, so we really don't want spaces in between variables. Yep, that's a really good thing to be reminded of. Kids often make that mistake. So let's go ahead and run it. Let's make a Mad Lib. Okay, so inside of here we have, um, oh, under current story. You were trying to give me a little hint there, weren't you? So the variables, if I would have um, not copied them, but use the editor. Again, looks like we need to make a couple changes to the recipe here, which we'll do by the time we post it up. So now when we ran it, it didn't run because there were spaces in the variable names as, as um, we were talking about here. So let's go ahead and run it and then we'll finish our, mad, our ad lib. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'll let you pick. Enter an adverb, let's make it silly. Sneezedly. Sne how do you spell that? E-E-Z. E-Z-I-D-L-Y, like that? Close enough. A uh, sneezedly, okay, as in sneezing. Uh, E-D, how do we, what do we say there? Choked. Choked, is that, oops, how do you spell that? C-H-O-K-E-D. K-E-D, okay, and then the body part. Toenail. Oh no, this sounds like it's going to be funny. I think I'm going to have you read it out. Go ahead and read it. Today, I woke sneezedly. Then, I choked my toenail. Oh my god, okay, well we're almost done. So we need to go ahead and get rid of our two lines, and uh, now we got a cool, fun ad lib to work with. So enjoy this recipe and check out the variations because we get into um, model view controller in terms of using a parser and using different display mechanisms.